Hello, Salvador. Hello. Salvador. Nice to meet you. Well, thank Pleasure. you. My name is Smarta. Dave. Thank you. Dave. Come Pleasure. Home. Okay. Bobby took us across town to meet his older brother, Batar, once Mongolia's most feared power forward. What are the qualities of a Mongolian hockey player? Mongol Tony Hakutol Chamberhimbut. He deserted Hatot. Mongol Tesera to Tatast. Could you describe what it's like to play in weather as cold as it is in Ulan Bator and the hardest part of playing in, in such extreme conditions? Tigod Bashan Togger Haki. Гадаа тоглож байгаа хоккей хоёр бол хоорондоо маш хуурч та маш хуурч. Тэгээд миний үед бол тэгээд тэгээд хур тиг явж байгаа тол урдаас маш их хүчтэй салхи салхи нэг зүгээр хамгийн гол нь нэгдүгт гадаа хүүтэн байх тийм үү салсан шуурхтай үед бол маш хүн төрлтэй. Uh what type of players were you uh, individually? Were, were, were you very different players from each other? Тэгээд бид нар бол өөр өөр тоглогч. Тэгээд зүгээр энэ юунд байх та ач зус тоглож байсан. Ер нь жоон тийм тийм хүчээд хүчтэй тоглодог тоглож байгаа юм харин дүүг явуул бол шал өөр урам тоглогч. Би 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 бол уу миний тоглолтыг юу бол уу архил сонсорсон голцоо зүхтаа тоглодог. Хурдаар. Тэгээ яг уу цогч байгаа цогхэлт нь болох та зөв их хөвчлөг юм бас бас эвдэдэг юм хүчтэй цогтдаг юм. Тэгээ зөв миний хувьд бол яг уу их хөвчлөг зодоны би өөрөө гаргадаг юм байна хөөе. Би маш их зодлогдох юм байна хөөе. Хэрэв зодлохгүй бол хокки их интерес болчих байна хөөе. You're considering coming out of retirement to play again. Uh, what what made you decide to start playing hockey again? Би бол одоо хоккейгаа бол баг шахалтар болцсон байхгүй. Зарим зүйлээ би ойлгох чадаагүй л да. Өөрөөр л таас төр хүн хоккей тоглож болох үү гэсэн юм үзэл бодолтой байсан биш нэ мэдэн баа. Тэгм учраас хэд хэдэн бодос би дотор энэ 5 жил дөрөс хоккей тоглох гэсэн юм болцохоор байна. Одоо ч надаа тэр тоглох хүч байгаа байхгүй. Одоо ч би чадна тэрийг. Is there a spirituality in hockey that you find in your faith? Тэр дотороос хоккей гэдэг зүйлийг аваад үзэх юм бол үнгэ ирчүү тоглолтыг үнгэр дээд илдэг үнгэр маш гой спорт байх. Аги яг нэг үг яг сургаал ярьдаг бас хэсгэн баяртай. Яг нь хар багаас 16 настар бас ирэх тоглосон учраасан. Тэгээд би бас сургаалыг 12 жилийн өмнөөс аарч ирсэн. Миний баян өсгөн бол сургаал Би энэ номд бол бурхны гэж хэлдэг. Амин. Амин. Тэгэд энэ нөхцөлийн маань би авч ирсэн. Тэгэд би ингээд их таа зүг хэлэх юм бол би яг тэр тоглож байх тэр үедээ хоккей тоглож байх үедээ би бас итгэсэн. Тэгэхээр би бурх юм идэхгүй ч гэсэн надад ийм итгэл бас би энэ спортын төлөө амьдралаа бүр зориулж байсан. Миний бүх бадлууласны амьдрал нь хоккейдаа шалтгаан холбоотой. In Ulan Bator, hockey is played in the shadow of one of the world's most important Buddhist temples. With a puck, did you play with a puck? Yeah. How did you learn the game? Who, who taught you how to play? I did not know that. I knew that the game was played by people who were not good at hockey. I knew that the game was played by people who were not good at hockey. I knew that the game was played by people who were not good at hockey. I knew that the game was played by people who were not good at hockey. I knew that the game was played by people who were not good at hockey. мөсөн дээр тэгж ил чулуу хөө тоглодог тийм нэг тогтдог хаваагаар тогтдог нэг юм гарч ирсэн. Do you think there's a spirituality in sports? А гэхдээ ер нь хүн эргүүл шаарга байх нь тулд бол одоо ямар ч одоо тийм энэ бин тамир юм одоо энэ сайхан урлагууд бол энэ хүн одоо бас хэл шалтаар залуу байх та орж ихэнд үү тийм зовж байгаа. Энэ бол шашин зүйл гашлах юм байхгүй. өөрөөхөө хийдэх юм хамт болно. Өөр нь нийт Монгол дахин арлыг гэрэлт юм уу? Одоо Вайс нь талаасаа дандуу байна. Yes, thank you. It's great to be in Ulan Bator. It's great to find a place that loves hockey as, as much as the people in Canada do. And maybe one day Mongolian gold medal in hockey. I hope. I think after after dark after six o'clock, I think that's when Ulan Bator starts to uh, come alive. Well, people going to work, coming home from work, that sort of thing. But the streets just like exploding with people all of a sudden.
Mongolians predict the future by rolling sheep bones, and in Puji's apartment that he shares with his parents, I decided to take my chances. Tomorrow, maybe you have some problem. Be <laughs> careful! <laughs> There's three days left to go before the big game, and as you can see, the ice still looks really bad. So, so the puck must make funny bounces sometimes. <laughs> He's a carpenter. He's very good ah, carpenter. carpenter. Ah, yeah. Ah, I see. How old was he when he made the ring? 19 years old. When he built this ring? Yeah. Good job. That's very good. Joy second. Who's your favorite? Ray Bork. Ah, Ray Bork. Why do you like Ray Bork? You're like a teacher to a lot of the young kids. What are some of the things that you try to teach them about the game? Yeah, that be a miracle that such a thing is possible. Be or that the hockey or the other thing that such a thing is possible. He do both hands that such a thing. At that be hockey that has got to be rough to turn. Ah, which Instead of sitting around waiting for the rink to freeze, Puji had a notion to bring me into the country to take my mind off worrying that, despite being in one of the world's coldest places, we might actually not play hockey. <laughs> Puji tells me in the summertime that some of these kids, they uh, ride 15 kilometers out in the countryside on these horses. The, race, the races are, are 15 kilometers long. For thousands of years, nomadic Mongolians have lived in gares, collapsible felt domes that can be folded and transported in a matter of hours to follow their wandering herd. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tough guy meal okay. presented by very, very friendly, friendly, beautiful people. But it's tough guy food. <laughs> It's the day before the first game of the Mongolian National Hockey League season, opening day as it were. But the ice is in terrible condition, as you can see it's really ugly. So we don't know what we're going to do, we don't have any ice. Uh, hopefully things will improve before tomorrow, but right now everything's hanging in the balance.
Sometimes, no matter how hard you try to make ice, battling the elements, the water department, and in Ulan Batter's case, an unseasonably warm winter, you can't. So I'm not sure whether it was the case of the hockey gods looking down on Puji and the boys, seeing that the rink wasn't going to freeze and taking pity on your wayward hockey nomad. But when I awoke on the final day of my journey in Mongolia, it was to find that an old pond in the city's amusement park had miraculously frozen over. It's an amazing day. It's a perfect day for hockey. In a way, hockey all over the world kind of feels the same everywhere. They sit the faces and the players and the style's different and the rinks are different. But at the end of the day, right, it's a stick and a puck and people playing a game that they love to play. Feels good? It's good. Feels good? Woo! Big comeback. Whether it's under the TV lamps of 20,000 seat arenas in big North American cities, or by the light of the falling sun on this rink just north of the Gobi Desert, really we're all the same hockey player in love with the same damn game. Depending on who's watching, all that separates us is the kind of struggle we must overcome to play a game that we feel somehow born to play. And as I took that final turn on this ragged Mongolian ice over this frozen planet that is the hockey player's home, I became connected to all those whom I met on my journey. Our experiences linked like a puck passed across the lines of a globe, nomad to nomad, scrub to scrub, skating together along this tropic of hockey. I